What's going on everybody? This is Ryan from RLS ASMR back with another video. So if you're new here, please go ahead and subscribe. Love to have you. If you're you know, already subscribed, welcome back. So today I thought I, you know, a few requested a while back that I do Burger King. And I do love me some Burger King, so this will be me fulfilling that request while also just genuinely wanting Burger King. So instead of being a like a good boy and going picking this up myself, I decided to door dash it so I could get everything ready and get myself ready for the morning and, and be like, you know, I was thinking, oh, this is going to be great. They'll bring me my food and then I'm not going to have to go out and, you know, waste gas and go get the food and come back and I don't like that crap anyway, so. But, um, I looked out my window when the door dasher arrived. I mean, he was an older guy. Doesn't excuse his behavior, though. <laughs> so this was supposed to be a meal, which means I would have gotten a drink. And then this was my shake, um, a vanilla shake that I got, and I only got these two things, and I'm missing a soda. So, um, how am I supposed to eat my burger without my Diet Dr. Kelp? I mean, come on now. If you've watched my channel before, well, I've only made one Burger King video, so it's not like I can say it. If you've watched my last Burger King video, which I will have linked, I eat the same thing, pretty much. Except I had a drink that time. Instead of uh, what I'm going to have to drink, I have these. I bought these. I don't know if you guys have tried these. Dr. Pepper, strawberries and cream, zero sugar. They have a non-zero sugar version, but I get the zero sugar, zero sugar version. Um, because I, don't, I drink a lot of, of these, and I don't want to get diabetes when I'm 25. So I say that, and the way that I eat makes it seem like I would have that anyway. So... Okay, yeah, so I, I muted that whole thing. Um, putting in work for editing Ryan so that he doesn't have to cut out a million of my stupid noises. So yeah, um, I have my Valentine's Day video go out. If you guys have watched that, you should. If you haven't watched it, you should. And if you've watched it, I mean, how was your guy's Valentine's Day? So, I actually didn't have an um, exact plan for today's video, but now that I'm thinking about it, I finished Speaky Blinders, and I'm, I'm, I would talk about anime. That's, that's what I would do in a video like this, but... series in a minute. I'm watching the Fate series with a butter, a butt, a butter, a buddy of mine. But because it's all interconnected, I can't like talk about one without talking about the other. And if I don't know the whole story, it's kind of like for my Marvel fans, if you're still out there. It's kind of like explaining the significance of Tony Stark without it going through all of the movies. Because he's significant in pretty much all of the movies. I mean, except in the Captain America ones. But still. Unless he means Civil War. But you know what I mean? It's like trying to explain one thing. You have to go through the whole thing to explain everything. So. I don't really I can't really do that. I don't know the full story. Oh, and 
also about the door dasher. So, and if you've ever door dashed, normally if you say leave it at your door, then the customer, excuse me, then the door dasher will take a picture. He, he said, so he like, I saw him get out of his car and go all the way down to my door. And he followed the instructions of just where I like it being put all fine. But what's funny about it is when he went to go take the picture, it was off my front lawn, like in the direct ex where his car was parked. I could tell he just went out his, uh, his driver's side door and like he went back to his car and then took the picture of my house <laughs> and put that in DoorDash. And I was like, that's not what that's for. You're supposed to put the food down, take a picture of, it of where you left it. Then you're supposed to go back to it, but like you just, I don't know if it was his first time doing DoorDash, in which case this is fine. But if it's like, he does this all the time, and he's just an old guy, so he doesn't care, it's like, or doesn't know, that's kind of funny. remembered the first episode of Young Sheldon the final season came out two days ago and I missed it dang it anyways so Peaky Blinders if you're unaware it's set in um, Birmingham England and um basically there's a gang that runs like that that has a business where they run horse track races and if you know anything about horse track races the joke about them or the meme or i don't i mean i'm sure it's actually done in real life but like in a more legal way that they're fixed you're just gambling and throwing money away to see a show you know like rich people will go there to throw money away because they find a good sport and then poor people will go there because they actually need to like win the lottery to pay bills but they always lose their money that's my impression you can tell me if i'm wrong and then so they fix those horse track races um they also do something with cars it's not explained well in the first season he he ends up, well, by the way, I don't know if I should spoil anything. I don't know. That's why they start out. The main character is Thomas Shelby, played by Cillian Murphy. Who, if you don't know who he is, he was the lead in Oppenheimer. He played uh, J. Robert. J. Robert Oppenheimer. Yeah. And, um, just got distracted. Yeah, he. Runs the Peaky Blinders, which is a game, and they make money from the racetrack. 
and then they pay certain places, businesses. So they're like, no, they don't pay them. They offer their protection and get paid by those businesses because like there's a bunch of rival gangs. So if someone fucks with their business, they go and they cut them with, they have like a razor in the pillow of their hat. And then so they go to the person and they cut their eyes out. Hence being called the Peaky Blinders. after World War One ended. And apparently, all of the brothers of the Peaky Blinders came were in the war. Well, the oldest three, we'll say, were in the war in World War One, And so it takes this really cool look at, like, psychology of PTSD, how different people handle it, while also being in a war zone, basically. Being brought up in a razor gang, having to do all this crazy stuff. And then, because Thomas talks about wanting to make his business legit, or mostly legit, because a lot of what they do is illegal. They have to pay the cops off and all that. Do not look into it. Very corrupt city. well but I thought it was a really good show I'm not gonna like go super into it because I don't know if anyone has, has, uh, has seen it and I don't want you to get turned off by watching it or be spoiled or whatever so a lot of crazy stuff happens if you kind of like like okay if you're an anime watcher and if you like Code Chaos you like this if you are a just a regular TV show watcher, and you like shows that are very like I don't want to say if they're, they're talkative, dialogue heavy, but there's a lot of things going on and a lot of interesting themes, and it's very cinematic, and the music's very well done. You'll like it. If you're super into that, crime, crime, drama, but not like a crime show where they're solving crime, but like a show where there's a lot of crime in it, you know what I mean? If you're into that kind of thing, I think you'll like it.
my food, man. Like, I gave that dude a $4 tip. And I don't live far away from where I ordered this from, so it's not like it would have been like it was... But I know door I mean, I dashed too, so I mean, he probably got like... He probably got paid $8 for like a 20-minute order. Which is a steal. It's super... Mm. Excuse me, it's super thick. I'll have to eat this later. I have no, I mean, I could, you're like, Ryan, why didn't you get a spoon? You know how, um, Burger King shakes are usually very liquidy, and so I thought that it'd be liquidy enough for me to eat it without a spoon, but apparently not. And I'm not gonna get back up and go, um, and get a spoon and then kind of eat, eat it, and then, no. I, I'm seated, I'm good, but yeah. So. I can recommend normal shows also. Not just anime. Okay. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I'm just gonna end the video here. I forgot about stuff to talk about. Alright, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. I appreciate all your love and support. Like I said, comment, rate, and subscribe. Become a channel member if you really, if you want. Um, I'm thinking of the uh, different videos I want to go on the members uh, in the members only section. So if you want to be ready for that, go ahead and become a member because I'm going to be making members only content for you guys. But like I said, um, you know, thank you so much for um, watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next.